okay, we're uh, we're watching Marla. I'm I'm not sure if she's on a roll because I've been yapping and <laughs> slowing her down. That's all right. We're just getting started with this frame. And uh, and I don't know if you heard in the background, but we got uh, Hudarinka and Shrikapova <laughs> on Tennis Channel, the replay of their final. So we'll just come back to Marla and maybe uh, maybe mute this a little bit. So yeah. you're just now at the beginning point of... Just at the uh, beginning. Use a starting clamp on the beginning. How much do stringing machines like this cost? Uh, this was about $3,200. So... This is a very nice machine. It's uh, low profile. It's not that big and bulky. It's nice looking. Uh, it does a lot of nice things. And it's quiet. It's accurate. It can do a, a pre-stretch. So if you have like a gut or a polyester string, I recommend that you pre-stretch it. It'll do that for you. By pre-stretch, what do you mean? Uh, it'll, stre it'll stretch the string out. So gut has a really, it's very elastic, mm -hmm. so you want to be able to stretch it out some. So it'll do that for you. It won't string the racket for you though, <laughs> but it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Uh, I have a crank machine at home, which you know a lot of people have those at home to use. Mm -hmm. And um, those are nice too, but there's just some more steps involved and it, uh, it's a little bit slower. How many rackets have you strung today? Today I have strung five. What's average? Average is probably five to seven right now. Depends. And then you know we just got a bunch of demos in, so I had to string a bunch of demos. We got all of our pure drives in, so those are ready to go. Brand new strings, so that that took up a good chunk of time this week too. So as not to prolong this video, the, the one question I do have on stringing is, do you let your mind wander and think about other things while you're stringing? You can. You, you can. And when you've done it this long, I mean, you have to obviously pay attention. You want to do a good job. You don't want to nick the strings. You don't want to over pinch the strings. Um, but yeah, you can. It's, it's kind of therapeutic. You know, you just kind of get into a rhythm and uh, just have fun with it. I won't ask like groceries or anything. No, no groceries. <laughs> you know, keep it simple, keep it clean. <laughs> you know, keep your focus somewhat. But you know, it's really it's it's gratifying to string a racket, and then it's you know it's just so nice when people come in and say, oh my god, the strings feel great, or you know, I like the new tension or the new string that she recommended. Um, because there's so many options out there, the yeah. tensions and gauges and types of strings and multi-filament or do I go with the poly or do I make the uh, jump up to gut so but I'll tell you we've had some great weather so people are getting on the courts a lot more this time of year than normal okay well I will once again you know I keep saying I'm going to stop like bugging her and stop slowing her roll but I'm going to actually do it now Okay, signing off from City Racket Shop. Wave to the camera, Mario. Bye. Bye. <laughs>